They've got to have it here, man. All right. Uh, Liam, take that. Yep, I'll get us to the car. Uh, which one? Got what I needed. Uh, that would work. All right. You got it? Yep, let's go. All right. Oops, uh, sorry, sir. Uh, it's fine. He walks retail. All right, I'll get in. You just pack these up. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, just drive them in. Uh, he said you knew where we were going, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I do. Cool. Right. So, Liam, I have a question for you. Yeah, go on. What's the best brand and flavor of chips? Uh, alright. Brand's tough. Because that kind of depends on the flavor. But flavor, personally, for me, I've got to go with sour cream and onion. Sometimes sour cream and chives. Really? Okay. Always consistently good. Listen, I don't know what sour cream and chives is. Uh, but for me, I have to go with cheddar all the way. Or white cheddar in the one case that I've seen it. White cheddar? I've never heard of that, actually. Really? You haven't heard of white cheddar? Yeah, it's I'm not. Like... Most of it, like, we don't really have that crazy flavor combinations where I am. Yeah, no, no. White cheddar is, like, my favorite popcorn flavor. Uh, oh, we're going pop. Okay, so we're going... No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not doing popcorn. I'm talking about white cheddar on chips is good. And it's just as good on popcorn. Right. Okay. Uh, what's your... Careful uh, there. What's, what's your... Yeah, sorry, it's fine. It's a tough one. Uh, what's your opinion on salt and vinegar? Good or not? I hate it. Really? Yes. Damn, okay. What, is it just like the intensity of the flavor, or is it the flavor itself? Or? Uh, a mixture of both, really. Most of the time when I have uh, vinegar, I have a stroke right afterward. Damn. Turns out you're allergic to vinegar. Yeah. Something. I mean, I wouldn't put it past my body. My body's really weird. Hmm. Well, um, also, like, this, there was this one brand. I forget, I think they're called Brain Waves, but, um, everything they make there is consistently just, like, amazing. Like, uh, I've heard that said that they're, like, kind of, uh, our variants of uh, sun chips for you guys, but like they're so good. And honestly, sour cream and onion brain waves are just oh yeah. Man, I can actually go for some right now. Listen, I I gotta go with the classic, funny man with mustache. Ah yeah, prongles. Mm -hmm. We're not sponsored. Simplifiers. God, I wish we were. <laughs> Sponsor us, Pringles. All right, pull in here. Man. All right, get out. Yep. You got the camera, right? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, gotta find the ropes and cash it. All right. <sighs> God, this is gonna be such a long trip. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's gonna be worth it. Said area 52 is over here, right? I think so. I always wondered what's really like in the ocean, you know? Because it said that scientists have only discovered like 10% of the ocean. Like, what could really be down there? Well, I don't want to say I said anything absurd because anything absurd is stupid. I'm gonna I'm be real with you. There's no megalodons down there, they died forever ago. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like we know that one, though. Yeah, we know that one. We also know that the Loch Ness Monster is real. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the guy in charge of the Loch Ness Monster research? He looks like he knows everything. <laughs> like, he, the, the beard a wizard. Like a, oh, he looks like a wizard. Honestly, man. Like, the beard is just weird. It's him. Gandalf. 
<laughs> Dumbledore. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, like, I swear, like, maybe he's in charge of it because he wants to summon this monster. Yeah. Which, I mean, you know, I would too. Excuse me. But, uh, that's right. I feel like if anything would be in the ocean, like, that's going to be sweeping in some water level, it'd have to be right at the bottom. Like, bottom floor. Like, Mariana Trench. Yeah, I like, think... Hit. I don't... I don't think there's anything big in the water. I think there's, like... Probably, like... The biggest that we're talking is, like, the size of half a person. Like, my legs. <laughs> if we were to get my legs and throw them in the ocean, that's the biggest that we're talking about. <laughs> given, given to... Given to... Fuck. Given to the mer people. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I have given my legs to the fucking mole people. <laughs> Sorry, water the people. people Wait. Liam, where'd you go? <laughs> we'll do that next. Liam? Oh. oh, there you are. Hey, delivery. Got them straight from Al Capone. Thanks. Alright, let me get in. Yeah. Uh, just don't open the trunk. Like at all, um. Any reason? I, I don't know. It just it smells weird, and I don't I, I don't know. I don't trust it. I don't like weird either. So you make a good point. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you agree. Yep. Let's just never. We'll just, we'll bolt it down later. Yep. All right. He's my welder. So, Liam, I have a question for you. Another one. Yeah. yeah. New one. What's your favorite cartoon slash cartoon universe? And I'm gonna include anime in this. All right, all right. Um, Separately though. Uh, right. Okay. Because I was gonna, I was, I was, I was gonna take me a bit. Um, I'd have to say like uh, for storytelling, gotta go with Lord Jack Horseman. It deals with a lot of like heavy-handed uh, topics really well. But if we're talking like if I were just to be transported there tomorrow, either like Adventure Time or The Amazing World of Gumball. Yeah. Purely for the fact that, like, um, for Adventure Time, I mean, for obvious reasons, it's a really cool world and really interesting. Adventure and, Time! Uh, and I fought with all your friends! <laughs> I don't remember the words. Me neither! And as for. And as for The Amazing World. It's wacko, it's wacko crazy, and there is a guarantee that nothing bad will happen to us after the episode ends. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's sort of like a retcon situation. Yeah. Like, they, you know when they retcon everything? It's like, yeah, no, at the, at the end of season two, I think it was, they actually, like, completely rewound the entire story or something like that. It was like, if only there was someone out there with a button that could undo all... Oh, <laughs> then it just cuts. <laughs> Damn, they really just did that as a cutaway. <laughs> yeah. I have to agree with you on the Amazing World of Gumball part, but for uh, story... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something wacky, alright? Alright, let me hear it. <clears throat> Family guy. <laughs> <laughs> Family guy from the story, alright? I mean, it's controversial topics only. I just want to be in a, I just want to watch people beat the shit out of each other. That's why I want to be in Dragon Ball. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's a risky business being in Dragon Ball, man. Like, you fuck up once, you get beaten the shit out of my like, that, I, I gotta listen, alright? I gotta train, bro. Pull in here. But. <laughs> Training for 
couple, what, like, decades or so? Jeez. Krillin's been training since Goku was a kid. I'm gonna pray for him. Alright, come on. You said the other car was yeah. back here, right? Yeah, yeah, it's that, uh, that pink one. Right there. Ah, neat. Alright. Man, you super glued that to the ground, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, I had to keep it secure. There's a lot of car thieves in this area. Ah, uh, that's true. That's true. All right, let's Maybe. hop in. You heard the you heard, heard the news, you know? I have not actually. Max is here and he's mad. Don't drop my don't drop my camera into the engine, okay? I'll try. It's just yeah. You, know, you have really bad luck with that. Stuff about the back rooms. Yeah, I don't know. There we go. God damn! <laughs> All right, Liam. Uh, yeah, I'm good. All right. So, uh, I always wondered, what do you think technology is going to make in the distant future? Because you keep hearing all the stuff like, oh, flying cars are in 2030, or the cybernetics. And flying cars are impractical, and uh, flying cars are impractical, and I don't want them. Yeah, I don't really get that, because you'd have to, like, clear out the whole airspace, wouldn't you? You'd have to be, like, <laughs> you'd have to be a certified pilot. And like, how do you how do you traffic flying cars? You don't. Like, yeah, like you're just gonna have floating stoplights. Imagine a bunch of Apache flying. helicopters flying around. Imagine if they had the road rage style of New Yorkers. Like, oh god, people would actually bomb each other. <laughs> Dear God. Anyway. But, uh, on the cybernetic part you were just talking about, I'm gonna be real with you, I don't think I'd get any. Yeah, I don't really get it, because, like, even Cyberpunk 2077, you know, you see people going, like, oh, yeah, I'll just get, you know, a cybernetic contact. I need new eyes! Give me a new penis! I, I would be surprised if there was one, if there, like, there was probably a mod for that shit, honestly. One of the quests was a guy getting a defective dick implant. Was there? Jeez, I did not see that one. Anyway, I can see it. Damn. Yeah, uh, I, honestly, like, the only thing I'd ever do, and this is like, if, this is a big if situation, is I would possibly get my fingers replaced, maybe my hands, because I'd get carpal tunnel or some shit, because I'm a writer. But I do like this thing where I have, like, Swiss Army fingers. One's yeah. a knife, one's a pen, one's a corkscrew. <laughs> I just imagine, just like, uh, imagine it's like, ah, oh, fuck, I've got my screwdriver. Oh, no worries, I'll flick out my ring finger. Easy. This is the lockpicking lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, if you had to get one, what would you Pull in do? here. Uh, man, I'd probably... I'm gonna be real with you. I'd go for like Edward Scissorhands or Freddy Krueger style. Nice parking job. Sure, that does sound cool. Ah, oh, yeah, thanks. All right, come on. Oof. All right. And. Ooh, getting tired. Yeah. All uh, right. Where'd I put that next car? Uh, right there. We oh, liter you literally parked on it. Oh, yeah, you're right under my nose, you know, it's like that classic Scooby-Doo stuff, you know? Ah, uh, Ruby dooby doo Alright. Where'd you say you got this car from? Don't worry about it. Alright, cool. Alright, uh... Um, also have a trunk we should worry about? No, not really. Cool, just checking. Get in! You're driving. I can't drive. Oh, yeah, true. I forgot. All right. New topic for you, Liam. Yeah. What do you think life in space would be like? Um, are we talking, like, human life? Or are we talking, like, aliens and stuff? When I say life, I'm talking about, like, us colonizing and living on other planets. Honestly, I... For the first couple of renditions, I'm pretty sure it's going to turn into a Lord of the Flies situation where people just fucking eat each other. Like, that's what I'm imagining. I, but like, in the really distant future, like, 
I, you know how in all the alien movies, like, humans are basically just the lower fodder kind of enemy? I don't agree with that. I think we're so fucking stupid and warmongering, we're basically just gonna be space orcs, you know? It like, it, it's like that aliens. comic, it's like that comic book series where, uh, humans just kind of went extinct except for one, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> you can figure that out for yourself. And, uh, yeah, yeah, humans, really humans upgraded themselves, basically. And then they were like, hey, yo, let's conquer the whole universe. And they were like, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Like, honestly, I think in, the, like, the real span of things, we just be, like, the, the one they all, like, fear, you know? Mm. Not because we're, like, you know, real special or anything, just because we're that fucking crazy. And because we're crazy enough to, to <laughs> we're crazy enough to go nuke mode on anything we see. Yeah. Including us. Like, yes. I feel like most alien races, they probably, you know, they probably have made peace with their own planet, probably for, like, the greater good, but we're still at war with every one of us. We have, we still have people who hate each other because of their mel melanin levels. That's melatonin. <laughs> I want melatonin. <laughs> ah, man, I do too. But, um... Did you see that? It's, yeah. Do what? Yeah, whatever. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I... I don't know, I just... I just think, like, if we do colonize places, like, fear for the aliens. Unless they, like, got really high-tech, which in that case is just gonna blast us into oblivion. Alright, pull in here. Yep. Alright. Um, I think I got the next car ready. Alright. Get out of the way uh, for this one. Yeah, you're gonna need to. Alright, here we are. Back blast clear. Well, I wasn't expecting yeah. that. Well, you know, I'm uh, full of surprises. Stole this one from a guy called Milon. Usk, I think his name was. Really? Yeah, 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 great guy. Had memes, had child slaves, all the all the good stuff, you know. Wait, child slaves? Oh yeah, we don't we don't really talk about them. Yeah. yeah. All right then. Yeah, how it be? All right. All right, I got I got one for you. Yeah. If you could steal one thing from a fictional universe, could be anything, you know. What would it be? I'd steal an Omnitrix. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. Why that one? Bro, imagine being able to transform into any, any alien you want to, bro. Wasn't it like not any alien? Not alien. Like not yeah. Sorry. Wait. I'm. I'm. My brain is fried right now. Ten aliens at the start, and then there's ultimate alien. Just transforming into aliens in general, man. Through any form of transformation thing this sounds really cool. Um, hmm. My favorite was I, always me, <laughs> I always liked, uh, what was the name? Uh, was the name Heat, Heatstroke? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, it's been ages, honestly. Uh, for me personally, the one thing I want to take is the infinity sided die from Gravity Falls. Oh my and god! Yeah, I I'm not I'm not smart with my decision making, as you could tell. But I I don't know. I just like you've seen that, yeah. You've seen it. Once. Yeah, no, no, no. I've seen I've seen it. Yeah. So if I roll, anything could happen. I just I don't know. At crucial points in my life. Either when I think the world is like at its worst, or when I'm about to die, I just want to roll it and see what happens. You roll the infinity, decide to die, and then you roll, go back ten years. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. So, like, so all right. Then. Take two. Take two. Yeah, take like, two. 
Oh, could you imagine, like, I rolled the D infinity die, and then, like, my grandkids were like, what was that? And then just nukes start falling, <laughs> like, raindrops. Ah, radioactive rain. <laughs> just shit. I don't know. I just, just mainly for the sake of, like, I don't know, if people know what that is, I can also use it as a levy. Just, like, don't fuck with me. I will use this. I have the power to do anything. I can roll I a two, or I can roll for your heads to explode. Yeah, it's like, and you're the best part? I don't even know what I'm gonna get. Like, Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons, motherfucker, and I'm the DM. Yeah, it's like having a DM that's like on 50 rounds of coke. It's basically like having Jimmy from Payday 2 as a DM. Or the Forbidden Sessions that we will not speak of here. Oh yeah, no one will ever hear about that again. Uh, except but, um, for when we cover it on the channel. The D&D the, the oh, yeah. channel. God, oh, you know, alternatively the journal from Gravity Falls would be good. Yeah, that'd I had be to cool. pick something else. Pull in here. Yep, yeah, as always. Alright. So, uh, you got the next car covered? Don't worry. Just give me a couple hours. Got it. Uh, it's, it's done. It's right there. Oh, damn. Some fresh stuff. Uh, I stole all the parts from Area 52. Wait, you, wait, you mean the place we're going to? Listen, it's complicated. I'll tell you later. Oh, yeah, I forgot. People are watching. Okay. Let's just get going. Uh, man, is it, is it just me or is it Oranger? <laughs> yeah, it's like... Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of bright and dark at the same time. Mm, weird. weird. Uh, I always wondered, like, do you think you could survive, like, a couple of different kinds of apocalypse? Probably. I believe I could. Which one do you think you have the best chance of surviving? Uh... For me, I'd say... I'd probably be able to survive. I'd probably be able to survive most zombie apocalypses that people think of, other than World War Z and Left 4 Dead. Yeah, alright, fair enough. I think I could survive, like, yeah, a fair amount of zombie apocalypses if I had prep time and that. Ah, uh, um, yes, I love working out seven months in advance for the zombie apocalypse that no one knows about except for you. Please. We all did that as a kid, let's mm -hmm. be honest. We all had our plans. Um, what about, like, something a bit more realistic? Say, like, war that just went overboard, you know? There's no like, way. Like, everyone... Oh, there's no way we're surviving that. <laughs> Not even if we knew about it? Not even if we knew about it. Damn, all right. So quick on it. I guess it's true, yeah, it's a very slim chance of living through something that crazy. Whether I'm drafted, or we get nuked. It's one of the two. At this point, I don't know which one I prefer. You know what I prefer? Which one? Neither. Why can't I mean, we just yeah. have peas? Because it's the Earth. Peas was never an option, and I feel like you know that. I just want some peace. <laughs> it's like it's like that one meme of like uh, you know can have a little bit of peace as a treat. <laughs> Please, Dad, I want some peace. It's like no, it's wartime, son. Dad, I want a peace. <laughs> <laughs> a piece of peace. I would like a piece of peace. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, what about like, um, what about like something funky, something people don't think about? What if animals just rose off and started going after humans in an organized fashion? Straight up animal farm. Something like that. Yeah, just on a grand scale. I would like to see the pigs go against my free. <laughs> <laughs> you try and headbutt the Freebrooms and then bang. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what happened to the rhinos. Rhinos rise up. Alright, get them. 
fuck him up. Um, the only thing I'm really worried... I think the only thing I'd really be worried about in that circumstance is, um... Raccoons, crows, and octopi, because they have intelligence. You wanna watch a movie? Hell yeah. What's playing? You'll see. It's really good, though. Oh boy. Can't wait. Alright, thanks for the movie, man. Man. Shrek 5. Hell, hell of a show, yeah? Yeah, hell yeah. Alright, come on. You yeah. go get the car, I'll wait here. Yeah, yeah. Damn it, Excuse suck. me. Better... I'm sorry. Yep. It's real hard to see. Better keep going before it gets any darker. Alright. We all ready? Yeah, you gotta let me get in. Well, um, yeah, of course. Uh, gonna have to watch out for deer. Anyway. Listen. <sighs> I got... I got a... Another, another, another one. What horror movie do you think you could survive? What horror movie could I survive? Yeah, yeah. I think I'd be able to survive... Well... I think Michael Myers, but, you know... I can only okay. briskly jog for so long. <laughs> you just get a car, man. I know you don't like cars, but... <laughs> I'll get in a plane, I'll get in a plane. I'll prefer planes much more different than cars. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny, actually. I mean, to be fair... To be fair, like... What, what can Michael Myers do against a plane? Ah, yes. I love it when plane against me He's kill. Like, He's, like, trying to swing at a fucking jet. He's in the F4 um, Phantom! Get him! <laughs> Michael just activates no clip. <laughs> you have just been placed in creative mode. Just, oh. Oh, shit. You see him slowly T-pose his way up to you. I, I, that, that's, that, that's fear incarnate right there. Yeah. I think I could possibly survive Get Out. Not only because I'm white, but because, like, probably get prep time, you know? A little bit. Even just an inkling. Even you just, just gotta beat up a whole bunch of white people. British people. Go beat up a whole bunch of racist British people. <laughs> Easy. Just go beat up the triumvirate. Beat up, beat the, up the queen. <laughs> Yeah, I could be on the queen. I don't know, man. She's, She's immortal. Maybe immortal, but I could still be. Her. Yeah, but I could still beat her up. Immortal or not, it's like beating up a decrepit old man. It's like me beating up Mr. House from Fallout. What a way to put it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm a wordsmith of the sorts. Uh, alright. What about, um. Hey! You think you could. Can... Hey, where's your keys? Ah, shit. Uh, hold on. Did you drop him again? Yeah, hold on. I, I swear I had him somewhere. Oh, here, no, that's my house key. Uh, no, it's a big fucking house key. Um, wait, no, you have my house. You have my keys. Ah, uh, yeah. Here you go. Shit. <laughs> okay. Um, one person I, could, I also think I could take out Pennywise. Like he feeds off of fear, you know. So just, if I just, just like don't be heads. afraid. Exactly. Alternates also count in this circumstance if you just don't be afraid. GTFO if I my see house, them for what they are. <laughs> yeah. I can see as the kind of guy to fist fight an alternate. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, give me that bloodlust bonus and I will rip a alternate's head off. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> you Not lying. Not clickbait. Mortal you pick Kombat? up the insta kill. You pick up the insta-kill bonus from Call of Duty Zombies. <laughs> insta-kill! Every, every alternate in a 10 mile radius starts sweating. I stay oh. here. Oh. Ah, we'll hold that thought. Let's go in. We gotta pick yeah, up, pick up the big one. Liam, Let's go. it's time. So it seems. Man, bringing out the big guns here. 
yeah, bro, we're going through Oops. Nevada. Ah, uh, yeah, true. Yeah, you know, fair enough. I heard there's like a couple of pickpockets around here. We're just gonna make sure. <sighs> as much as Let's I love her. living here, I hate it. <laughs> Amen, brother. Anyway, while we're going on this trek through Nevada, uh, what time period would you like to travel to? And you could come back. I could travel back. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Predicted. Um, Our spines honestly, are in sync. Again, yeah, it's just it's just inevitable, honestly. Well, uh, I think. Honestly, I want to do something where I I go up to some like middle class um, guy in like the 1400s or something like that. I hand him a whole bunch of bread and meat and various other shit and just be like, hey, I'll give all of this to you for just a few dozen coins. And he'll think it's like, you know, you'll think I'm a dumbass trying to like, yeah, make a deal with him. And he's going to think he's scamming me out of my money or well, out of my food. In truth, um, this is the best bank transaction in all of history. Yeah, because Interest. what I do is I just, yeah, pretty much. I just go, I go up, I hand money into the, like museums or collectors and that, and just be like, hey, give me money, and I'm rich forever. You know what I mean? You now have five billion dollars in not depletes. I mean, yeah. And if they're mint condition, they're gonna be worth big bucks, you know? I'm just imagining, like, those guys in heaven just watching this, it's like, are you fucking kidding me? That son of a bitch. That was why he did that. I thought he was just an idiot. Also, how is he here? <laughs> I was like, wait a second, I know that guy. What? I don't know, what would you do? Like, uh, I'd go back to, like... What would you like, do in that situation? I'd go back to, like somewhere in the Mesozoic era, just be like, hot, you paleontologists were wrong. <laughs> you, you like, uh, right, you like sketch out a dinosaur, you burst into like a paleontologist meeting and just be like, you're all fucking stupid. You see this? This is the one that makes the most sense and I also took a selfie with it. As you can tell by the nibbles on my arm, it's perfect fit. Ah! The only trouble is that, like, yeah, it'd be hard to get him to believe you. It's like, nah, then you just took a picture with a animatronic. Well, it's like, you just took your I have out. to do, a, I have to do a vlog with a dinosaur, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, we out here in the Mesozoic era with the dinosaurs. Like and subscribe. If. You if you don't subscribe in the next 10 seconds, there's going to be a car, 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 donka, 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 donk at your back door. They're just like, a what? Oh. Yeah, that's the one that likes to eat Spinosaurus. Yeah, so, you know, fear. Yeah. Uh, you want know, something I also want to do? I, I think, like, we both would want to do this, but... I want to go back to 0 AD, and I just want to see, like, is, is Jesus, like, all he's cracked up to be? I think that it was a tricky man doing tricky things to a whole bunch of gullible people, and then those gullible people passed down the same gullible thing all the way until modern day. He was just a stage magician, could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> like, he just... Like, with the whole multiplying bread and loaves, he just, like, bought some in discount. He bought them from me. <laughs> <laughs> from Time Traveler me. Time Traveler, you sold the bread. <laughs> I'm in the Bible. Ooh. It's him. He's in the Bible. Oh, could you imagine? No, Time Traveler us turns out to be Jesus. Oh, yeah, my God. All right. <laughs> go inside. Ugh, man, I'm taking a nap. Same. Ugh. Oh, man, that was good. Oh, fuck. Nice Your nap. alarm is annoying. Uh, yeah, yeah so are you. Good. Anyway, hey, Tom. We'll see you, Tom. Yes, yeah. Fuck, you got the new thing, yeah?
Ah, oh, my camera. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's beefy. It's made of tungsten. I don't believe that. Well, that, that, that's what the salesman told us. Sure, he lived in an alleyway, but he he was still legitimate. Yeah. <sighs> Who knows? I believed him. He was he he called me he called me boss. Yeah. A boss. Only trustworthy people call call you people boss. Yeah. I guess so. Well, in any case, uh, just get that camera set up and we'll head on our last bend. Yeah, before we get to Area 52. Yeah. There we are. Alright. So, uh... Actually, there we are. For real that time. So, uh, yeah, you got this from, um... This, this from, what was it? Ikea? Or what was it? Stole from Burger King. Sorry, oh, right. from Burger King. Yeah, yeah, for legal reasons, it's a joke. Yeah. I gotta ask, how on a scale of one to ten, how good is Burger King in America? I I just never actually know. Well, it depends on who you ask and where you're from. Here in Colorado, it's pretty good. And then I have people in like, you know, other parts of America and they're like, Yeah, it's shit. Actually, weird. Okay. Yeah, it's wacky. I know. I always wondered. And on that sort of same top uh, subject, because I think there's some form of fast food place around here. What's your favorite dessert? Like throwing cost out the window and all that. I uh, just yeah. All right. What's your, if what's I'm gonna be entirely honest with you, biggest budget possible. I want a triple decker, <laughs> triple decker lava cake, chocolate lava. Ooh. All right, yeah, that's good. That's some good stuff. That is that yeah, is I'm... quite literally the sauce right there. Oh yeah, hot fudge is like everyone's favorite. And if it isn't, then they're not human. They're reptilians. They are cringe and not based. Uncle Benjamin. Yeah, honest. Sorry. <laughs> That's what just made me think of that. <laughs> cephalopod activities. Oh. Fuck. Uh, speaking awful. of cephalopod activities, it seems there's octopi in the road again. Goddamn octopi. Anyway. What were we talking right, about? Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Oh, right. Dessert. Dessert. Yeah, honestly, three-layer fudge cake does sound like the bomb. I will add, like, you know, a couple of scoops of ice cream, maybe one chocolate, one vanilla. If we're going three-layer, just add that little creaminess. Yeah. Man. I have ice cream downstairs, but I, I can't eat it right now. I'm on a diet. Oh, plus we're driving a cash. Yeah. Yeah. We're but, all the uh, way across the world from my downstairs, so I guess it'll be a while. <laughs> hey, that can be a diet, you know? We'll call it the road trip diet. The road trip starving yourself diet. Honestly, it sounds like something some basic white girl would do. Or someone on YouTube would yep. do. A little TikTok for clout. I don't go on TikTok. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I don't. I, I've, I've never made an account. You can't make me go to China. <laughs> the one place we'll never travel to. We're not going to China, and you can't make me install Chinese propaganda. <laughs> I mean, never really plan to. Oh, tell you what, though. You ever, you ever heard of this place called the Pancake Parlor? I heard they have one location in America. Okay, basically, it's this restaurant, yeah? Yeah. And it has, like, all these different kinds of um, pancakes, both savory and sweet, you yeah? know? Yeah. And yes, the potato pancake is there, so, you know, it I does know exist a, in... I don't know what a potato pancake is. Oh, it's that thing that uh, Critical really loves. Oh. Um, He's pulling but... his cock out! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's your go-to whenever you think a critical is just that one clip. 
yeah, when is it's road been trip in... is over. I gotta send you that yeah, clip. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it's embedded in my brain. It's just <laughs> he's pulling his cock out. You know, Inside Out when they're like, you know, the they have the core memories. That's one of yours. <laughs> It's a core memory. He's pulling his cock out. <laughs> Someone better make that edit. I've been expecting to see that edit. <laughs> God, I hope so. Dear God, audience, please. That edit is amazing. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's free content, boys. I don't think yeah. I have the editing power for that. <laughs> I mean, hey, look, there'll be some motherfucker out there. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, uh, I was mentioning the Pancake Parra because they had this one dessert. I think it was called Chocolate Heaven. I think it'd be right up your alley. So it's basically um, three chocolate pancakes um, laced with triple the amount of chocolate chips, both in and out of the pancake that's been melted down, as well as they, they put, like, hot fudge on it. You knock over this uh, couch a lot. Uh, it's a bit unbalanced. We need to put some training wheels on it. Yeah, we will. So I'm not couch certified, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know who is. Yeah, probably someone. Um, but anyway, there's a uh, yeah. On top of that, they also have hot fudge, um, two scoops of chocolate ice cream, and I think like um a block of chocolate, like a little block of chocolate cube of chocolate it's yeah it literally is just a small cube of chocolate and doesn't look like any form of block fashion so it's just like how the hell so like you're <laughs> saying a straight up minecraft cube of chocolate not that big but it's like um, not, uh, no it's I'm like saying an, shape <laughs> yeah palm sized minecraft block is basically what I'm talking about ah, okay I will say it's yeah, it's quite tasty. Like the whole thing. Granted, I was a kid when I had it, and I think I blacked out for about three days afterwards. Listen, because man, because it was just so much. <laughs> the sugar high. <laughs> oh, you would not believe. Like it just not to send any kid into cardiac arrest. I want to go into cardiac arrest. That's what a dessert really is about. If I'm not dead by the end of it, then it's not a good dessert. That means we're just all waiting for the good dessert. <laughs> and what's the best dessert you've ever had? Okay. that's mine. Listen. I had this ice cream, right? It's like a Ben... What was it? Ben and Jerry's? That's the ice cream company, right? I've never had Ben and Jerry's. But I've always wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sound of offense. <laughs> okay. That's like that's like what that's like what happened when Mark Markiplier said he didn't like croutons on a salad. Anyway, Just, <laughs> anyway the, the ice cream that I like from Ben and Jerry's is chocolate with chocolate fudge and brownies in it. Jesus, that's a lot of chocolate. I mean, not that I'm one to speak. Listen here. Listen here, motherfucker. That is the best amount of chocolate you will ever have. I, you know, I'll have to find out for myself. You're coming to uh, America right now. Fucking bet. Let's go. Oh, I remember there was this one thing. Um, One of my friend's birthdays, we went to this all-you-can-eat sushi place. Yeah. And I swear to God, I was the only one still eating by the time my two hours was up. <laughs> like, even the restaurant people were just like, uh, so, there's, so you, you, there's no way that you can, you want dessert? there's no way that you can like, feed us. No, more rolls. <laughs> there's no feeding was, us. It was literally just like, no, I want more rolls. It's like, sir, please. My stomach is rising. It's overflowing. Pull in here. Final stop. Ah, <laughs> uh, finally. Right next to Area 52. Yep, of uh, yeah, course. Yeah, I'm saying, man, is we gotta go to a all you can eat buffet. Oh, we're gonna put them out of business. Swear to God. Just all of their food goes in our gullet. Just oxygen tank, but it's just food. Yeah. 
Here we are. Ah, oh, finally man. made it. The long road, but we made it. The past two war is the longest road. Ah, da, 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 ah, da, da, da. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. How you doing? You all right in there? Uh, 